Hey, what's up, YouTube? My name is Brandon. Thank you for tuning in. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, for today's video, I have a spring pickup haul. Um, it's a few items that I've picked up over like the past like two months, I would say, uh, for this spring season. Uh, it's just a lot of t-shirts, and I think I got one hoodie. So for the first portion of the video, I'm gonna go through my Essence pickups. Um, I've picked up quite a few items from Essence over like the past two months, I would say. Um, so let's get right into that first. Okay, all right, so this is actually my latest pickup. Um, this is from Who Decides War, latest collection. Uh, it just released on Essence. Um, and this is one of my favorites. It's in this really cool blue colorway, very distressed, heavy distressing, I would say. There is some embroidery in the middle along with the graphic. So I don't know if you guys can tell the difference between, but this is actually like embroidered and this is a graphic and it kind of like blends in together, which I thought was pretty cool. Very faded, very distressed. It has like bleach like effect. Um, yeah, wear throughout a lot of really, really good detailing. Hopefully the camera picks it up. Um, but yeah, I really like it. I thought it was a unique, t-shirt I would say. Um, cool thing about this t-shirt is actually the brand tag is upside down. I thought about sending a message to Essence but I kind of don't care and honestly it makes the t-shirt I guess more unique in a certain sense. Hopefully you guys can see that on camera. Um, yeah and I like t-shirts so that was a pretty cool pickup. Okay, uh, so next up is, um, this is also again from Essence. Uh, this is, the next like four or five items are all from the same brand, Seekings. Um, it's a brand I've been interested in, I guess over the past two years since the first collection from them dropped. Um, this is from their second collection. And yeah, like I, I really like this t-shirt, very, very thin. Uh, it's supposed to have like a vintage feel, I'm assuming. That's what it feels like to be. Uh, very, very thin and flowy graphing in the middle. No graphing on the back. It's a very thin shirt. Um, so I think this would be really, really great for summer. And um, yeah, I thought the graphic was pretty cool in the middle of it. It's kind of like off center. So it's not exactly in the middle. I um, mean, there seems to be some type of error right here, which I'm assuming is intentional. Uh, but yeah, I thought it was a pretty cool t-shirt. Okay, yeah, so next pickup from Seekings is just this brand tee. Um, you have Seekings printed twice, kind of overlapping each other right here on the left side. Uh, similar feeling t-shirt. Uh, I want to say it's the same material, just in a different color. But again, very thin, very flowy, uh, very light. Um, I got both of these shirts in a size XL. I would say they fit kind of cropped, um, not oversized at all. Um, I got these in the XL, but I, I really like how they fit. But they're both very good. Nothing on the back. Um, so next up, we have this long sleeve t-shirt, also by Seekings. Um, similar fabric, again, is just in a long sleeve variation. Uh, you guys can see the branding right here. Um, yeah, star in the middle with the S. It actually kind of reminds me of like Saint Laurent, honestly. Um, it has that like skateboard, you know, rock star type of feel to the brand, um, but different. It's not like completely biting it. It's not what I'm trying to say. Uh, it's the it's a similar vibe though, but it's, you know, a lot cheaper. Um, and I think it fits more to me personally than, you know, uh, Saint Laurent at certain times. Um, what else? Oh, I also picked up this uh, hoodie from Seekings. This is actually from the first collection. I've been looking at this hoodie for like two years, but I was kind of on the fence about it. Um, I'm a messy eater, so a lot of my clothes get stained pretty easily. I've stained the other two Seekings hoodies that I purchased like first day out, second day out. So I was kind of on the fence. Obviously it's in this white color, as you guys can see. But yeah, Essence had this for about 80% off, so I decided to just bite the bullet and um, scooped it. Uh, so yeah, pretty happy with this. I got this also in an XL, I believe. Um, it's a lot thinner than my other two hoodies. Um, so I think this would be great for like spring, summer. Summer especially, I think at night, I'll be able to get a lot of fits off with this. Um, yeah, so it's something I didn't have in my closet before. So that's pretty cool. As you guys can see, it's just plain. And then 
I really love the brand tag right here. Just very, very simple and looks good. Uh, yeah, so next up, I picked up a bait t-shirt off of Essence. They had a sale on it. I'm kind of getting back into bait. Yeah, took a break from it for quite a long time, uh, but I really do like the graphic tees. Uh, so I picked this one up and it's just a collage of different graphics that they have. I actually also picked up another t-shirt with this graphic, just bigger. Actually, it's right here. It's dirty, so I kind of had it like over to the side. But yeah, it's just the same graphic, just larger. And um, yeah, I thought both graphic t-shirts were pretty clean. And honestly, in the summer, like you can't layer, obviously. Uh, so I think like a good graphic tee, some good denim, a good pair of shoes, like you have to find certain things to, you know, kind of make your outfit stand out, I guess. I also picked up a pair of double RL denim. Um, you guys can see. If you guys are unfamiliar with Double RL, um, it's Ralph Lauren, just like their Western take on it. But yeah, I really like the denim. Uh, I've gotten a few pairs off of them in the past couple of years. Usually I just recycle them. Um, but yeah, salvage denim, Japanese fabric, made in US. Uh, this is a 38 by 32. I think this is supposed to be a skinny fit uh, for a person that wears 38. I wear like a 34 to 36 usually. Uh, so these kind of fit like an oversized baggy pair of jeans, which is exactly what I wanted. It's a mid-weight fabric, I wanna say. Uh, so I think these also will be great in the summer, just besides the color. I've had a few light wash pairs of denim uh, from RRL, And usually like all the denim is pretty thick, but I think that'll be great. Uh, and I won't overheat in like the summer. So we got that, then I believe, oh, how could I forget? Uh, the shirt I'm wearing now, actually, I'll put B-roll footage in so you guys can see. It's uh, just a St. Michael's t-shirt. It says Holy Mother on the front, has numbers 999. Let's see. It also has a graphic on the back. Uh, St. Michael's, speaking of graphic t-shirts, St. Michael's makes some of my favorite graphics, basically period, hoodies, t-shirts, sweatpants. Um, so I decided to pick this up. I actually got this, I wanna say in the fall. Yeah, I I've had this the longest out of any of these pickups today. And um, yeah, I enjoy it. It's supposed to be like a vintage feeling t-shirt, the single stitched. Uh, it's a good, light, flowy fabric. So I didn't get a lot of wear out of it during the fall, uh, just because like I layer a lot. So it didn't really make sense to like wear a graphic t-shirt, but no one's gonna see it. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of this this summer. So I think that is it for the pickups. That's it, that's gonna be the end of the video. Hope you guys liked it. Again, please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I wanna say more content is on the way. And I'm a liar, so yeah. But have a good day, and I do mean that. All right, take care of you guys.